everyone. Welcome back to today's tutorial. It's Miss ERD Stitches. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to draft an off shoulder blouse. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please like, subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to put on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. To draft an off shoulder blouse, the measurements we need are our shoulder measurement, our chest measurement, our bust, round bust circumference, under bust circumference, waist circumference, our blouse hip circumference, and the full length of our blouse. So let's get started. To determine the paper that we put or fabrics we put on fold is the bigger circumference our body divided by four. And in this tutorial, the bigger circumference is my bust. So my bust divided by four plus three inches. You can add like four inches. Three or four inches is okay. That's what we use to determine the material you put on fold. So now that we have put our material on fold, let us now move on. This is our startup line. So, from that, our startup line now, I'm going to get my chest line, which is my armhole line. Okay, this is my startup line. So, I'm going to get my armhole line of 8 inches. That's here. Then, my boss point line of Ten and half. Under boss is fourteen and half. My waist is seventeen. Then this is my hip here. Then this is my allowance. If you are turning the fabrics with the with lining when you are sewing, you have to add like one inch or one and a half depending on how you use it but if you are not turning it with lining you can add half if you are using a a lace that uh ha, that you are sewing it with a lace you know that you are not going to turn so you don't need to add much allowance so now that we have ruled out all these things the next thing we are going to do now is in off shoulder you know that when you say off shoulder that means the blast will not be resting on the shoulder, it will be off the shoulder. So you will decide what we are removing. So in this tutorial, I'm, I'm, I'm removing five. I'm offing five, but I will not mark from five. I'll mark from four and a half. The remaining half inch is what I will use to turn my lining when I'm sewing. So this line now is not going to be our startup line. So now that I've gotten our new startup line, which is this now, the next thing to do now is to input our bust fan measurement. So the bust fan measurement I'm working with is nine inches. By the time you divide it by two, it will give you four and a half. So this is the four and a half here. The four and a half here. So I'm going to turn it to a straight line. And half. So now that I've turned it, now the next thing now is to input our darts. So remember, this is. So now that we have gotten our bust fan measurement. At this our under bust line here now, I'm going to take three quarter inch on both sides, both left and right side, three quarter inch. Then on my waistline, I'm taking half inch. Then on my this new startup line here, I'm taking one inch on both sides. That's here. Yeah. One inch on both sides. So I will connect everything now. 
So at this my bust point line, I will come down by one inch. It's if I'm using ruler, but if I'm using my curve, curve ruler, I don't need to come down by one inch. I just put my curve ruler and connect. But if you are using straight ruler, you come down by one inch. Then while here, I will go up on the same bust point line. I will go up by one inch to connect this to it. So now let's connect. And for that. Then here I'll turn it to like this. Now I collected half inch this way. Then this place I'll go up by one inch to connect the up one. This is the one inch here. Then I will connect this with a straight line. here and this also to here so so the next thing i'll do now is i will blend here because i don't want here to be that sharp so i have to blend blend it very well so that it will not be sharp mm, that i've done now so now that i've inputted our that now at this our length hip line here, I will go up by two inches and connect it this way and also this way. So now the next thing we'll do now is to input our body measurement. So at this place now put put my neck measurement. So the neck measurement I am working with now is I'm, I'm taking 5 inches or you can take 6 inches or any So now I'm taking 5 as my neck line measurement neck width measurement so this is my 5 Remember, we remove one one inch here. That's two inches. So plus these two inches, we remove that. That's seven inches. Then plus the half inch on both sides to join it back. That is eight inches. So now I'm going to mark eight inches here now at my here. Yeah. Is the eight inches? So. At this my chest line, I will just in, I will input my boss measurement here. So my boss measurement is 40 divide, 42 divided by 4 is 10 and a half. And we remove, if you look at it, we have half, half inch on both sides. That is 11 and a half. Then we will need half, half inch to join it back. That is 12 and a half. Then plus one inch seam allowance because I'm using paper. If I'm drafting it on fabrics, I will put two inches. So plus one inch seam allowance, that's 13 and a half. So I'm inputting my 13 and a half here. So the next thing now is the boss point measurement, boss point boss point measurement that is the same thing with this 13 and a half then under boss we are going to input the waist measurement waistline measurement on and but we are going to use the under boss like uh, that that we remove here so the, our uh, Waist measurement is 40 divided by 4 is 10. So here we remove three quarter, three quarter, that's one and half. That would be 11 and half plus half inch, half inch on both sides to join it. That would be 12 and half. 
then plus one inch again for same allowance, that's 13 and a half. Our hip measurement still remain the same because we, are not, we didn't remove anything from it. So we have to join it now. We'll join this way, just straight like this. Then to the hip. Use your cuff if you have any. If you don't have, you. So that's it now. So the next thing we will do now is to cut it out. So remember, here we took five inches as our neck width. Five inches as our neck width plus two inches that that we remove here. That's seven inches, and also one inch that we can we use to join it by the side. One one will be sewing. That's eight inches. That is the eight inches we have. So the next thing we we'll do now is to cut out these things. Okay, now the next thing is to curve our armhole. We will curve, use this side of your curve ruler if you have any. If you don't have, you can use your free hand to curve it. So we we'll curve from this point to this point. That's our armhole now. So the next thing now is to cut it out. So, we are cutting now. Remember, this is the front we just wrapped it now. So, got to cut through our our uh, that cut out this and also cut out this. So this is it. We are done cutting now. This is what we have. This is it. But we, as you see it now, we have not given it the neck depth we have we want. So we are going to work on this now to give it the neck we want. So what we will do is so this is a where we want to give it the neck the, the neck we, we like now so what we do now is at this point now at this point if let's assume we want to give it a princess that a sweetheart neck so at this point now we'll curve it to meet this place you can use your curve ruler if you have any you just put your curve ruler this way from this point 
you curve it to meet this point. By the time you cut it out, it will give you a sweet hard neck. If you want to give it a round neck, it's the same thing. You curve it to get here, the neck that you want. Look at it. This is our sweet hard neck. So now that we are giving it neck, this is the front. This is how the front come out. You see it? This is our armhole. So the next thing we will do now is the back. Let's go to the back. Okay, now to the back, I've already ruled out some lines and I will explain it. This line here is our zipper allowance. Then, this line here is the four and a half. Remember the front, I took four and a half. I was supposed to take five inches, but I took four and a half. Then this half here, I'll use it to turn the line in. So this line here, this small line here is my armhole line. Then uh, this line is nine inches. I, I it was my armhole line. I stepped down by by one inch to make it nine inches. This is for our dart. This is where our dart will start. You know, back that starts from nine inches or so one inch below the chest line. Then this line here, seventeen inches, is my waist line. And this is my length, the length of my blouse and my allowance. So the next thing that we are going to do now is to input our ball span measurement. So the ball span measurement I'm working with is 9 inches. So 9 inches divided by 2 is 4 and a half. I'm going to start from this red line. So this is my 4 and a half here. At this point also my four and a half so i have to connect it as a straight line to this point so now at this uh, chest uh, half length that is waistline i'm taking half inch on both sides so at my hip line i'm going up by two inches here so I will connect them together now. From this, my dark line here, I'll connect to this point. I'll also connect to this point. Then connect to this two inches here. I also connect it this way. So this is our dart now. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is to input my body measurement. So the first I'm working with is 42 divided by 4 is 10 and a half. I will input my body measurement on this my armhole line here. 10 and a half plus 2 inches, that is 12 and a half. This is my 12 and a half. So at my waist, the waist I'm working with is 40 divided by 4 is 10. Plus this 1 inch I removed here, that is 11. Plus the two uh, seam allowance, 2 inches seam allowance, that would be 13. Then the hip I'm working with is 41. 41 divided by 4 is 10 and a quarter. So, plus 2 inches seam allowance, that is a 12 and a quarter, that's here. So, I'm going to connect everything together now. The next thing I'll connect uh, this to this, this way, then I'll connect to this place. So, the next thing I'm going to do now is to now input my neck width. In, in the front, we use the uh, five inches. I'm still using the same because I want the back and the front to be the same. So five inches neck width plus the allowance that we use to join it, join the arm uh, uh, the sleeve. So this is our our neck now. So the next thing I will do is to 
Cover it to meet here with my curve ruler. That's my armhole now. To meet my armhole line. This is my armhole line. So I'll come here to meet this point with my curve ruler. This way. From here now. Yeah, that's my armhole. So, at this my zipper for our my blouse to relax well at the back, I have to go in here by half an inch. Yeah. So I will also go in here by half an inch. Then I will connect them so that the back will not will last very well at the zipper side. So I'll connect it towards this side, like so, and also towards my hip, like so. I will do same to this one. Like so, and also, yeah, like so. So this is my new zipper now. This one now will be cut out. This place now will be cut out. So the next thing we'll do now is to cut this out. Our back pattern is ready. We are not going to cut the dart out. We are going to sew the dart. So now I will cut. I will cut this. I will cut here. Out. I also put a two here. Open the zip around one side. I open it here also. So this is our back pattern. This is our back. Yeah. So if we are sewing now, you know this is our zip allowance. By the time you fold it in this way, that's our zip allowance. Fold it in. Yeah, also. Fold it in this way. So this is our back pattern now. So the next thing that we are going to do now is this sleeve. So what do you determine the fold for the sleeve is half of your armhole plus one inch. Then the measurement we need for this to, for the sleeve is the sleeve length, the round sleeve, and the half of your armhole because it's on fold. So the next thing you will do now, you know that we minus the uh, four and a half inch in the blouse. So in the sleeve also, we we'll minus four and a half inch. And also the first thing we get this for this thing now, the measurement I'm using is 12 inches. I use one inch for my uh, folding allowance. So I will get my slip cap, which is my bust, round bust measurement, divide by 12 plus half inch. My slip cap is four inches, that is here. So I will turn it to a straight line. This way. So now that four and a half inch that I, I removed in the blouse, I will also measure it here. One and a half inch here. So, here also, I'll measure half of my armhole. Here. Yeah. That is eight inches plus the one inch allowance. So, what I will do now, I will connect, use my curve ruler this way to connect it to the allowance uh, point. From this four and a half here, I'll connect it this way. That's my armhole now. 
So the next thing I will do is, on this thing, the rice leaf I'm using is 6 inches plus 1. It's 12 inches divided by 2 will give me 6 inches. So I will add 1 inch allowance to it. That's 7 inch. 7 inches. So I will now turn it and connect it this way. So this is my sleeve now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. So I'll cut out from... So this is at the length of the sleeve. So I will... I have to indicate it so that I will know where to fold in from. So, now that I'm going to cut it out, I'll cut that from here. I'll fold it in this way before I'll cut it out. sleeve now this is our sleeve there is something I want to explain to you if you are drafting this on on um, a fabrics please listen very well their slip cap like my slip cap here is four inches you will add it one inch to make it five that one inch you added to it is what you will use to turn this you know before you put it in your clothes you need to fold it in this way and so you need to fold it in and so so that one inch will serve as the folding and if you when you want to cut after drafting before you cut you will also fold it in this way before you cut your sleeve you have to fold it in the way I did the under, you fold it in before you draft your sleeve. The one inch, what you fold in is the one inch you added here for folding allowance. Let me repeat myself. If you are cutting it on fabrics, your sleeve cap, let's assume your sleeve cap is four inches, you are going to measure five inches. That five inches will serve as folding allowance. And before you cut your sleeve, brand sleeve, yes, arm hole here, you have to fold it in this way before you cut. Thank you. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. If this tutorial has been helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and always put on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please help me to subscribe, like, and share to support my channel. Thank you.